I'm Dana Denhun. This is Art Fair Close Up 2019. I'm here with Angie Nichols. She's a fiber artist and with a mix of other things, right? Yep. So tell me about uh, kind of how you got into fiber arts, because that's an unusual one you don't see a ton of artists in. That's right. Um, I was looking for furniture for my own home and couldn't find what I wanted exactly and in the price point that I wanted, so I just started by picking up a couple chairs at an antique market, taking it apart, and then finding fabrics from all over to cover the chair. And then I, my friend said, you should sell these. And then from there it took off and it's been about 10 years. Nice. So you're obviously you're using like sort of antique chairs. You get these amazing sort of shapes with your chairs, even like the ones we're sitting in right now. So what's that aspect of it? Are you just always looking, going to antique shops? I'm always looking for something that I don't see at the local furniture store that's not mass produced anymore. This furniture is the good old stuff that's well, well made. And if I find a piece that even needs springs repaired, I'll do that just to save the chair from ending up in a landfill. Nice. Yeah, because, yeah, you're not seeing this quality of chair, but like the nice thing, like you said, because these are old, they're built to last. Mm -hmm. So you can fix a spring and you can still have this chair in your family for probably another hundred years. Right. And I use a lot of grain sacks because that is a it's a dead art. It's not fabric grain sacks. They're not used anymore. It's all plastic. So I like to find the artwork and look and dig through antique places or vendors all over the country. We go on road trips, my husband and my kids and I, and we, we, we find joy in the hunt for these really cool old fabrics. That's amazing. Yeah, so the fabrics are antiques too, pretty much. A lot of them are, yep. How do you come up with sort of putting different fabrics together? So like you have your leather here, and then this is like a woven sort of fabric. Like right. what? I got this in San Francisco. Um, there are awesome fabric places in San Francisco that get their fabrics from New York, Italy, and San Diego. Um, so I find it just taking the trip out there, because I do have family out there, I can get a lot of unique things that you can't just find at the local store near my house. Um, and then putting them together, I don't know. I just spend a lot of time throwing samples on chairs and then it just kind of comes together. Sometimes it's really funky, like this one back here is just crazy. But some teenage girl is gonna be like, I have to have that for my bedroom. Um, so I know, I teach, I also teach, I teach fifth graders, so I know like the wild things they're into. So I don't know, I try to, Think of a person in mind that might want that piece of furniture yeah. and those certain colors together. And then there are a lot of people like that want neutrals. So a lot of these grain sacks don't have a lot of color, so they're perfect for people that like neutral colors, yeah. neutral tones. How do you upholster a chair? Is it with a machine or? Yeah, yeah I use a sewing machine and I also use a, a staple gun and um, hammer, pliers. I get lots of cuts. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of cuts and scrapes, yeah. Well, do you have a website people can go to? I do, it's artisticallyvintage.com. All right, well thank you so much, thank Angie. You. Stay tuned for more from the 2019 Ann Arbor Art Fairs.